am on day 1565. Good morning, welcome to or welcome back to another daily vlog. Y'all, it is Thursday, October 24th, and I'm looking forward to having the most amazing day. We start out by affirming ourselves. Sis, if you're not doing it, start today. I mean today. So we hop right on into the cardio. My body was feeling like a nice long walk this morning. Yes, girl, I got it in five miles, and it felt so good. So after that, it was time to get into resistance training because you already know I'm trying to keep Keep it right and tight over here so just follow along you know if you want to work out with your girl feel free to slow it down you know and just kind of catch some of the moves but you know i basically do the same thing every single day girl i'm a creature of habit but off camera i do get into more exercises so just kind of feel free you know to either follow along and also make it your own After the resistance training, of course, it was time for me to go ahead and get into the cool down and stretch. When I tell you, y'all, I felt so good. I mean, I feel good. I feel great. I feel wonderful. Go ahead and repeat after me. I feel good. I feel great. I feel wonderful. Y'all, I know I'm about to have like the most amazing day. After I got done working out, it was time to go ahead, head upstairs, and, you know, get myself ready for the day. We went for cute and comfortable because I just had a couple of errands to run, one being Publix. But, girl, just keep on watching. We'll get into all of this here in just a moment. I just needed to pick up a couple of things. You know how I like, like to do my couponing. So once I got back home and put the groceries today, um, groceries up, I broke my fast at 2 o'clock. But just once again, we'll get into the recap of the day really song. Hey girl, hey my beautiful, gorgeous best friend. Yes girl, I know, I know, this is evening Dr. Erica and it is okay. Yeah girl, listen, you're extending that grace because you already know your best friend has a lot going on. So this is actually the next day, but we will be checking in for Thursday, October the 24th. So yes, I pray you have had the most amazing day so far. So I hope you've made it this far into the video. You got to stay to the end, okay? Because we're going to go ahead and get into our November challenge. But first and foremost, like how we start out pretty much every single video, okay? We want to hear from all of our day oneers. If you have 
have finally made the decision to make yourself a priority. We will continue to say you are important and self-care is not selfish. So yes, let us know right now. We're here to say congratulations. We're here to hype you up. We're here to gas you up. We're here to cheer you on. If we could just encourage you today, start today. Okay, let today be day one and just keep on going. Now for all the OGs, like if you're like not brand new to the channel, you already know. We want to know everything, okay, about your day. Some of the things that we want to know about your day. We want to know how much water did you drink, okay? Did you reach that goal, okay? Or how close are you to reaching your goal? If you're behind, this is your daily reminder. Drink that water, but let us know, okay, how you did with your water. Then let us know about your steps or your workout, okay? Did you reach that goal? If you haven't, it is not too late. This is your reminder. Go ahead, stand up, even if it's right now, and start walking in place, y'all. That will be, and probably will forever be my number one cheat code. Then let us know as far as your fasting, okay? Check in. Let us know how many hours did you fast for today? Was it, you know, 16 hours or was it like OMAD or ADF? We want to know those kinds of things, okay? You know, if you're on a special kind of fast, like a juice fast, a raw fast, a fruit fast, if you count calories, a weight watch, it's just all the things. We want to know. And then mental health. How have you been today? No, we really want to know. How has your day been? You know, what's the weather like where you are? Your mood, your energy, your stress level. Girl, have you practiced your gratitude? Have you, you know, done your deep breathing? And speaking of gratitude, drop those three things that you're grateful for because we try to stay in the attitude of gratitude over here because I promise you will begin to see the beauty in all things and also let us know one way in which you plan on making the world a better place today because it truly starts with me and it starts with you. But let us know what you're, you know, you've done for your mental health or your self-care for today. Y'all just tell us anything there is to know about how your day has been. So just check in. I will continue to say, y'all, this is all for accountability. Okay. Here I am. I was kind of beating myself up like, girl, you going on the camera the next day. But once again, at the end of the day, y'all, you know, we are family. We're best friends in real life. And this is a part of accountability. When you're looking for that accountability partner, because Dr. Erica, I'm going to show up for myself every single day. And I do the same for you, like with the daily vlogs and things like that. So go ahead and be sure if you haven't already to click the like button, click the subscribe button and join this fit fasting family. Now, let me go ahead and recap my day for you, which was yesterday, but let me go ahead and recap for you. So as you can see, you know, yes, girl, I did go ahead, get up, got the workout in. I did not set the alarm because if you remember, girl, I had the day off today. So I kind of slept in until about five o'clock. Okay. So once I did get up, of course, I started out by doing my usual, my devotion, my prayer, giving thanks. I came on downstairs to get my workout in. Um, you know, my, I started out with stretching. As you can see, I went ahead and got my long walk and y'all already know I've been on my walks. Okay. And I have been loving it here. And then after that, got into my resistance training with my um, weights. I did my dumbbells, my kettlebells and just like my Pilates moves. I got into the push-ups, just all the things because you already know, girl, listen, I'm trying to keep it right and tight. And then I got into my cool down and stretch. When I tell y'all I have had or did have the most amazing day. So once I got done working out, I came on upstairs. I had my 20 ounces of water um, before, you know, just to get a head start with my water, okay? And then I also had one cup of black coffee, and then I also had one cup of green tea, okay? So since I didn't have to go to work, of course, well, I got myself together, but I was just like, girl, it is, and we are going to be in relaxed mode, okay? But I did go ahead, get your nephew, you know, to school, okay? And then I immediately came back home, just because I got myself all ready, you know, for the day. So I just kind of lounged around for the first part in the morning. I did go ahead and take care of my daily, my morning tasks with my Spanish and my um, editing the vlog. And girl, the things I typically do, my journaling, those things are non-negotiables for me. I like to get them taken care of like first thing in the morning so I don't have to worry about them for the afternoon. But after that, as you can see, I did go ahead and I headed on to Publix, girl. I was just like, you know, may as well go ahead and take care of some of these deals. Now, they did not have a couple of things that I wanted. I was looking for like some um, OxyClean, like the, um, the stain remover, like the laundry. So they were out of that. And then I, um, one other thing they were out of was the... Um, 
I was looking for the lift in the green tea, okay? Because my husband loved those that were on sale and my, my store was completely out. But the good thing is the sale will be going on until like next Tuesday. So maybe I can revisit. So you can see, went to Publix, took care of that. And then I made my way home. Now around this time, I put up everything, put up the groceries and everything. So I broke my fast at about two o'clock. Now you see, girl, I was on my salad. The reason it was in that container is because if you remember, I was planning on being at work today, meaning yesterday, you know, so if you don't know what I'm talking about, be sure to check out yesterday's vlog where I explained to you that once I did get to work, I realized that, you know, that Wednesday would be my last day in the office, but I had already prepared my food. So why not? So that is how I broke my fast. And then after that, a couple of hours later, I had those two bananas for my snack pretty much a snack. And then I ended my night with um, my air fried potato and then also with my um, my cabbage. When I tell y'all, I had, a uh, girl, all my food yesterday, well, today, you know, today that you're watching it, was just so delicious, okay? And so here I am, girl, I have been beating myself up as far as like, you know, not being able to like go into like an extended fast and, you know, another extended fast. But I'm just like, girl, listen, once again, I have to keep on reminding myself, we're out here doing the best we can most important thing is you're continuing to show up for yourself every single day and every day it may be a little different even with these daily vlogs okay so, you know, y'all, you know, I have also, you know, and I've been mentioning this the past couple of days, just been thinking, you know, like how will things look? Now, if you've been here, you know, you know, I've been talking about the past couple of weeks, how, you know, with my career, I'm moving into like a different location and just like all the things that I have going on. And once again, I've been just kind of, you know, just not necessarily feeling down, but just kind of feeling a way of like, how will all of this work? I appreciate each and every one of y'all. Y'all, y'all rocking with your girl, okay? And y'all holding me up during this time because, you know, part of me does feel like a certain kind of way. And, you know, are, will there be certain expectations? But once again, I oftentimes have to snap myself back to reality and say, listen, you're a busy wife, a mom, you know, um, a busy, you know, professional who works outside the home, girl, making the blogs. I'm talking about daily vlogs it's just like wait a minute now you know you do have a lot going on and as much as you want to show up and you know for the accountability and all those kinds of things it is okay right if the blog or the blog style has to change or whatever you know may have to change so once again y'all we're gonna see how all this stuff you know works on next week okay okay no but really quickly let's go ahead and get into our november challenge and just by the way y'all we're at the end of october today being thursday october the 24th this is for that video but you know be sure to check in every single day if you're participating in the challenges. So for October, remember, you know, we are monitoring you know, a couple of things specifically, okay? We were focusing on those 25 reps of a body weight exercise. And then also as part as our nutritional portion, we were kind of limiting or avoiding like processed foods and sugar. So let us know, how have you been with the October challenge, our own and popping October challenge? Y'all, this has definitely been a challenge for me, okay? Reason being, once again, best friend I had so much stuff going on, okay? But once again, I keep on saying I will just kind of give myself grace. So as far as our November challenge, y'all, I think we got a good one. We have a good one, but I'm going to need your help. Okay. So in the past, okay, you know, I have a couple of things that I usually would go, you know, with, okay. But after talking to a friend, y'all, she offered up like another thing when I'm like, oh my gosh, I love that one too. So in the comments, you will have to tell me which what you prefer okay so as far as our november challenge here will be the things y'all let me know we got three choices okay we can either do no limits november we can do no excuses november or we can do now is the time november y'all i love them all i know so right now we're gonna go based off of the comments okay exactly which thing that we want to do once again just to recap no limits November, no excuses, November, or now is the time, November. Because, you know, I oftentimes sit here and think, you know, we set these goals, okay, but we can, at least I can, tend to make excuses and put these limits on ourselves. And at the end of the day, yeah, we are capable of doing 
Y'all, I'm talking about anything and everything we put our minds to. Now, I oftentimes, or we oftentimes talk about like goals and having these things as far as like water and sleep and, you know, fast and just all the things. At the end of the day, we have that goal. Even if you have to pivot, you have to shift, you have to change direction. Just always remember your goals. Oh, baby, they can be met. Okay. And we will, we will reach our goals. It's all about just showing up for yourself every single day and focusing on those small daily habits. That See, that's the thing. You know, oftentimes people say like, girl, how are you able to do it? It's the consistency. It's the consistency. This is day 1565 for me. It is the, I'm showing up for myself no matter what. Now showing up may look a little different every day, but it's the small daily habits that I promise you will help you reach your goal. Yeah, we're not giving up. No ma'am, no limits, no excuses. Now is your time. Now, as far as what we're going to focus on, okay, I think y'all going to love it. Y'all, so for the month of November, we're going to focus on adding a walk. Yes, you heard me right. Now, I know in the past we kind of focused on, you know, steps and having a step goals and all those things, but for the month of November, and here's why. Now, you have been seeing me, okay, come here on this camera, and for my mornings, you know, I've been really focusing on the walks. This is why I decided on the walks. Y'all, walking is so powerful and I definitely feel like it's just so underrated. Not only, you know, what it can do for the physical body, you know what I mean? Like having your physique, the physical, you know, changes that you may see, but also for the mental. And once again, I've continued to say these past couple of weeks, you know, just moving forward with like the changes that's going on in my life. You know, y'all, these walks have been just like, when I tell you, keeping me girl held down okay because it does something it really does something and those walkers i know you know what i'm talking about it really does help with your mental now i figure you know now is the time and we're about to move into like the holiday season and you know different um mental issues meaning like um seasonal depression you read about you know sometimes sitting in and you know sometimes people's you know um going through grief and just like all the things you know just the hustle and bustle of the holidays i thought what better way if we can incorporate more walking but do it as a challenge now like with every challenge you already know you can make this your own you can customize it however you would like to but what i'm saying is you know do at least a 10 minute walk every single day now if you can do more girl that is great because you already know your best friend over here tends to be a little extra okay and but girl listen because you know we're extraordinary but you know what if you can just give 10 minutes do that now if you're already a walker just add on additional minutes or additional steps to what you're already doing and I want you to check in every single day. Check in every single day. We want to know what that 10 minute walk or at least a 10 minute walk, okay? If you decide to do a 30 minute or one hour, you just be sure you're getting in at least a 10 minute walk every single day. Not only do we want to know about the physical changes, we want to know about how your mental is being affected. So anyway, girl, listen, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap this up, okay? Because once again, this is actually the evening, Dr. Erica, but y'all just be sure to check in. Let us know how your day was. Check in not only about your sleep, your water, your workout or your steps, how your nutritional component of your day went, you know, your mental, just like all the things. We want to know about it all. So be sure to check in. Of course, overall, I pray you've had the most amazing day so far. I'm about to go ahead, head back downstairs, girl, probably do a recording for uh, today's video. Y'all, y'all know I will be seeing y'all tomorrow. Bye.